Hello lovely people, welcome back to Ravi's Focus Hive. So far in the four episode series, we have been talking about giving feedback. Now it's time that we spend some efforts in getting the feedback. So in the last episode when we were talking about the SBI model, uh, I kind of finished by giving you a hint about coming into this episode and talking about some tool that will help you grab feedbacks from your team. Now this tool that I'm talking about, it can be used by us individually. Uh, it could be used for individual engineers in our team or it could be used for the group. Now in my personal experience, what I've seen is this tool works best when I have to extract feedback from the team. I'm using the word extract because it's not easy to get the feedback from your team for the mere fact that everybody is not comfortable telling what's right and what's wrong on your face. So, I mean, a lot of effort has to go through to, to, to make your team comfortable in giving you the feedback. And, uh, but there has to be a starting point. And that starting point can be this tool. So let's say you're taking up a new team. How do you make your team understand that you're not gonna feel bad if they tell you something that you're not doing right? I have used this tool and have got tremendous results and very fruitful and successful in getting the feedbacks and driving those changes within the team. And that's one reason why I keep this tool very close to myself and I use it like every time there is some kind of chain that's gonna come come around or there is something you get the feel right and then you get to collect the feedbacks so I have always fallen back to this tool and it has always given me the best results so without much of a story let's deep dive into this tool and see how it works today we are going to concentrate on one simple tool which is called as start stop continue some management gurus also call it as css tool which is basically continue start and stop uh, i find comfortable calling it as start stop continue and I, that's how i use it now how do you and how do i use it is basically i call upon a meeting get everybody in a room and use the whiteboard Divide into three columns. Each column has start, stop, continue. And uh, it's basically done like this, right? So start, stop, continue. Now, all you gotta do is let your team understand about what as a manager or as a team or as a company, the employees would want to see something happening new things right something to start things or let's say you're not having a, a quarterly day outs or whatever it could be right so the employees could come and say these are the things that we should start so you be the facilitator and let your team speak about and you just document and add everything in here you could also use uh, the sticky notes and let hand it over to everybody and let them uh, add it uh, right their viewpoints and then come in and stick it on the boards but i find it easier and more interactive if you be the facilitator and you start writing it on the board so you can get extract some perspectives as well so you start writing on each column what you should start uh, what you should stop and what you should continue right start as in that's not happening something that's not happening within the team and uh, the team would want you to start that so yeah so there could be three things four things ten things 50 things just write it down everything that your team tells you to start write it under the start column anything that your team says you should right away stop it put it under the stop column and anything that's working well everything's like everybody is liking it uh, it's yielding the results put it under the column called continue right so once you have charted all the tasks 
that are basically categorized within three categories start stop continue you have your actions what you have to do going forward right you now know that you have to start certain things you should stop certain things and some things are working really well and you should continue doing that so if if and with this you you get get all you get so much of feedback uh, because people start looking at a structure right when you are doing this activity with your team they straight away look at a structure and see something meaningful happening immediately and that gives them more comfort and confidence because you're not questioning them right and okay i didn't say this earlier but i just want to ensure that i put this point across that you're not going to question anybody on anything that they say right because the moment you start questioning they stop they they will close they will not talk they will shut off so you should not question them uh, just let them say whatever they are saying and you st- you just write it you are there as a facilitator not someone who's going to decide anything not someone who's going to tell what is right what is wrong you are not of that authority in that room you are just someone who's going to listen to the team and add everything in the board right you are just going to fill these columns that's it that's your job in that room now let's say your team tells you that uh, let's stop doing the shift rotations right there are so many things to talk about you can't just stop it but stop yourself from questioning that just note it down in your team uh, in your column uh, of stop column just note it down right no matter what a uh, team says uh, we should have uh, we should start having uh, more of r and r fair enough under start column more of r and r uh, monthly meetings quick check ins are beautiful they are happening and, and everybody is liking it perfect that's working well let's put it on the continue we'll continue doing it so when you start showing this kind of encouragement to your team they will open up more right so and they will they will start giving you more uh, actions that you can take to solve your uh, concerns and and solve challenges that you see in your team and and come up with great 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 performance later on now once you have your column full uh, you've got lot of items to uh, work on so now at this point you can also talk to your team and ask them about the priority if let's say there are 20 things within the start column you can ask them what are the most important thing that they would want to start immediately and then you can put in the priority on that and then something that they want to stop immediately put a, put in a priority on that and then you know that what you have to stop immediately what you have to start immediately and what you should be continuing at the same time you have a priority list and you've got a lot of action item in your bucket to work on so uh, figure out your uh, action items and then dri- drive it from there and uh, it's it's an amazing tool you should use it i've been using it so many times with great results uh if you get to talk to one of my team members you can and uh, you'll see how beneficial it is and uh, yeah uh, that's where i will stop today's session uh on start stop and continue start stop and continue is a brilliant tool and i have found it amazing in extracting the feedback from the team so if you want to extract information about what to change what to uh yeah what to change in your team this is the best tool you should uh, work with and uh, do give me a shout out if it works for you next episode coming in we are going to talk about things that we can do differently and figure out structuring our feedbacks So with that I would say thank you so much for joining in uh, we'll connect again within next week see you all bye bye